In this video, I'm going to explain to you about divisibility and some important theorems related to divisibility. Suppose we have two integers a and b, a is not equal to 0, then we say that a divides b or b is divisible by a. If there exists an integer x such that b is equal to a into x. If this happens, then we say that b is divisible by a or a divides b. If a divides b, we write a divides b in this way. But if a does not divide b, then we write a does not divide b. This one a divides b and this one is a does not divide b okay now let us come to some important theorems related to divisibility let's come to the theorem the first one if a divides b then it implies a divides bc for any integer c if you want to prove that a divides bc we should be able to write bc as a into some integer x or n integer okay so it's given that a divides b if a divides b we can write b as a into some integer x using the definition of divisibility now from this equation what do we do? We want to show that bc is equal to a into some integer. Then we multiply c on both sides. We group x and c together. We have bc equal to x is an integer. c is also an integer. So the product of two integers is again an integer, say y. Okay? y is equal to x into c, which belongs to the set of integers. So it implies that a divides bc. Okay, let's come to the second one. a divides b and b divides c imply a divides c. So if you want to show that a divides c, then c should be able, we should be able to express c as a into some integer x okay or it can be y or whatever it is so now see here a divides b and b divides c if a divides b we can write b as a into some integer and b divides c we can write c as b into some integer y x and y are integers okay now what do we do from these two equations so c is equal to b y implies now what you do put the value of b that is a x a x into y okay implies c equal to a into x y x is an integer y is an integer so the product of two integers is again an integer say z okay equal to x y which belongs to the set of integers so we conclude that a divides c or c is divisible by a we come to this one the third one if a divides b and a divides c then it imply that a divides b x plus c y for any integer x and y. A divides b and a divides c. Okay? So it implies that b is equal to a into some integer. Now here don't use any more x and y because it's already given there. So use another letter cr. Okay? And a divides c implies c is equal to a into some integer cs r and s are integers okay 
then you want to show that bx plus y is divisible by a then the, you should be able to express bx plus cy is equal to a into some integer let's say z or whatever it is okay so now what you do here multiply on both sides by x arx and here by y asy and then add these two equations therefore we have bx plus cy is equal to how much arx plus asy okay bx plus cy common here rx plus sy implies bx plus cy see here r s x y are all integers right so we get a new integer say z okay z is equal to r x plus c y sorry s y which belongs to the set of integers so it implies that a divides b x plus c y hence proved okay now we come to the fourth one It's given to us that A divides B and B divides A. So it implies that B is equal to A into some integer X. And B divides A implies that A is equal to B into some integer Y. X and Y are integers. Okay. And then now multiply these two. So you get AB equal to ABXY. Okay. Now from here, what do you have? XY equal to 1. So what value of X and Y should be so that XY is equal to 1? It implies that X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 1, or X equal to minus 1, Y equal to minus 1. Okay. Now, see here, for what value of A and B, we will get x, y to be 1. So, I'll show you here. See? Okay, have a look here. Now, if I put my A to be plus B, then what do I have here? B into B equal to B into B, x, y. So I get x, y to be 1, right? And if I take a to be minus b, what do I have? Minus b into b equal to minus b into b, x, y. So again, I have x, y to be 1. So what does it imply? It implies that, so therefore my a is equal to plus minus of b. Hence proved, okay? next we come to the fifth one what is that so if a divides b a is greater than zero b greater than zero it implies that a is less than or equal to b it's given to us that a divides b so we can write b as a into some integer x x is an integer okay now a is greater than zero that means it is positive what about x? From here, x is equal to, sorry, it is greater than or equal to 1. Now, why I cannot write x greater than or equal to 0? Because if x is greater than or equal to 0, then it implies that x is equal to 0. Then if x is equal to 0, then my b would be 0. But b is greater than 0, right? So I cannot put x greater than or equal to 0. My x should be greater than or equal to 1. Now, this one is positive because it is greater than 0. This one is also positive. So what does it imply? It implies that B is always greater than or equal to A. Now, if B is greater than or equal to A, it implies that... What? It implies that B, sorry, A, 
is less than or equal to b hence proved okay now we come to the last one which uh, says that if m is not equal to zero e divides b implies and is implied by this that means we have to prove both ways the first one we assume that a divides b we will prove that m a divides m b and conversely we assume that m a divides m b we will prove that a divides b so m is not equal to zero now what do we do let a divides b we shall prove this one if a divides b we can write b as a into some integer x okay x is an integer now if we want to prove that m a divides m b we should be able to write m b as m a into some integer x okay x is an integer if we can write this then m b is divisible by m a okay so now on both sides of this equation we multiply by m so we have m a into x so it implies that m a divides m b right conversely what do we do conversely let m a divides m b we have to prove that a divides b if we want to prove that a divides b we should be able to show that b is equal to a into some integer say x okay so see uh, since m a divides m b what we can write m b is equal to m a into some integer x x is an integer okay then if we divide both sides by m what do we have then we have b equal to a into x x is an integer so this one implies that a divides b hence proved